What's up, Spider? Hey, Sumting. How are you? Uh, oh, guess it would be helpful. Oh, right. oh, it is on. Can you hear me? What's up, Chris? Hey, Sherry. Faye. Chavis. Barbara. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? Will, Kyle, anybody? Anybody going to tell me whether or not they can hear me? Breaking. Hello. All right. Cool. 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 All right. So what we're going to talk about today is now this is all around taking something you know how to do and taking that knowledge from your head, putting it out digitally and sharing it with people. How many people want to learn how to do that? Well, first off, how many people don't believe they have knowledge that they could sh that they could uh, sell. I want let me let me see where we are on that. How many people don't believe they have knowledge they can sell, or how many people do believe it? If you believe that you have knowledge that you can sell, what's up, Bean? Bean, are you in the group yet? Are you in the school school community yet? What's up, Jr. Valley, hello. Nelson, good morning. ID, hello. Cat, hello. Fan, hello. Ignacio, good morning. Longoria, Joey, what's going on? So tap that screen if you guys want to learn how to take knowledge that's already in your head, not somebody else's product, but knowledge that's already in your head digitize it and sell it using a free community. Now, one of the best things, no, well, it's not, it's a free community. That's all. It's a free community. And I thank you for sharing. I, I really appreciate that. Um, so, and yeah, guys, if you are not in here yet, this is a free community inside of a, um, well, if you go to the link, that is right in there. All you need is a school app uh, account. And all you need for a school account, I feel like I'm, I'm always yelling. Um, all you need for a school account is your name, your uh, email, and you develop a password, just like you would of any software where you have an account. You're just going to put that in there. It will automatically invite you to my school. And then um, during the course of the live, if I get a notification that I have pending members, I can approve them. But it's a free community. There's all kinds of ton there's uh, there's tons of stuff over there. What's up, uh, Gennaro? Hello. So it's called Package Cell. It's inside of school. Um, you'll notice that it's mine, although it's got a black logo. So where is it? I'm always messing this up. It's got a black logo as opposed to a white logo. But it's Package Cell, all one word, inside of school. And if you're not familiar with what school is, school is quickly becoming, becoming the number one platform for online learning. It is becoming the number one. Before it's all done, it's going to blow away Kajabi. It's going to blow away Teachable. It's going to blow away any kind of programs you would have inside of a funnel. It is absolutely, Broden, stop. Sorry about that. It's absolutely going to blow stuff away. And I'm telling you, it, this is the time to get on this thing. Because here's where we are in 2024. We are six years away from selling your advice online, becoming an $850 billion a year industry. Let me say that again. Eight. Hundred and fifty billion dollars a year. Does anybody believe that, or do you think I'm I'm full of crap? Do you think that's hype, or do you believe that within six years, teaching people things you know online will become an eight hundred and fifty billion dollar a year industry? And I'm not just talking people. I'm not just talking about teaching people how to make money. I'm talking about anything. You could teach guitar, you could teach cooking, you could teach art, 
you could teach um, health issues, you could teach sewing, knitting, dog grooming, dog training, you name it. Doesn't matter what it is, you can teach that and you can make a full time living. So if you could make, if you could get up every day and all you had to do was talk about and solve problems about something that you know about, put in the comments what that would be for you. And don't operate under the thing that it has to make money. Don't choose something based on its ability to make money. That's what most people do. They choose something because they think it's going to make money, not because they actually want to do it and they're passionate about it or that they actually know how to do it. So answer that question. If I could just talk about and solve problems about blank every day and it would replace what I have to do now to make money, life would be sweet. Answer that in the comments. Answer that in the comments. I think I got to do the old D&D. Answer that in the comments. I think I got to do the old D&D. I thought I had... What's up, Charles? Mark? JLB? Hello? User uh, 88? Uh, MH? Terry? DSM user 88 again, Bruce, hello. So guys, and if you're not gonna participate, this is not gonna, this is not gonna be great for you. But what we are, we are talking about how to take what you know in your head and make money without all the tech. There's lots of people out here selling you programs saying you need funnels, you need emails, you need um, all this tech stuff, and you don't. You do not. In 2024, all you need is a free community where you can offer value to people. All right? And that's why we're talking about how to attract people. Good morning, Mike. How are you, my friend? That's why we're talking about how to attract people. The easiest way is not a funnel or an email sequence. The easiest, most natural way where you don't have to feel like you are Johnny salesperson or Janie salesperson, the, the easiest way is to create a community. All right. It's always been known that the more value you create for someone and the more you give it away, the more they will ask you to pay for more of it. It's like my man, Microgreens Mike. He comes on every single day and all he does is he shows people how he is doing his microgreens business. And people who want to learn how to do microgreens businesses, they contact him and he says, yes, I have a program where I will teach you. But he doesn't beg anybody. He's not selling anything. All he does is he comes on there, he shows people what he does, and he's got a little call to action where they can either join his group or they can join his program and he's making great money doing that. And that's in addition to his actual microgreens business. So if you want to learn how to do microgreens, microgreens Mike is your guy. But you can do the same thing. It doesn't have to be microgreens. It could be lowering your A1C. It could be starting an organic garden. It could be helping people resell on eBay. It could be... Um, you know, it could be helping people make money in a certain type of business. It could be helping people heal from a divorce or helping people, uh, helping parents deal with uh, autistic children. It, it can be anything, anything that you love. Because I've always gone back and forth about this whole thing of do what you love and it'll never feel like work. Well, I'm back. I'm absolutely back because I have seen enough evidence through this community called school. Yeah, just be helpful and people want more of you. Well, that is just, God, I've never said, you know, 
I'll sit here and talk for weeks and I wouldn't get it that succinctly, Mike. Yeah, just be helpful and people will want more of you. Don't be the person who's hiding all the information behind the paywall. And for the love of God, I hope this is the year that this dies. Uh, school, G. School is the best way. School has all the attention right now because of the money that's being poured into it. Um, it's very active on search. And you can start a free community and then put um, school is cool. Yes, it is. Uh, and then you can put stuff on the side um, in there. What's up, Scott? Thank you, my friend. Thank you for those. I appreciate them. Um, and then you just you just give value. You give all the value in the world. You give it all away. Look, if giving things away did not work, you wouldn't see all those sample trays at Costco's and BJ's and Sam's Club. You wouldn't see any of those because they could not afford to give away samples of their stuff if it didn't lead to sales on the back end because they would rip through all of their inventory and they would lose money. But it does work. It's always worked. Giving something away or letting people test drive something or do a trial of something, it has always worked. It works on apps. It works on... Um, you know, it works on services. But the biggest way that it works is it works with selling cars. What's the number one way that people buy a car? They test drive it, right? Having a free community is like letting people test drive the car before they buy it. You know, there's so many people that want you to pay for something before you have proven the value of what it is. And a free community allows you to offer that value to people. And what you do is you over-deliver. I know it's a corny thing to say, but that's what you do. You over-deliver on value, and then people will actually reach out to you without you being Johnny or Janie salesperson. They will actually reach out to you and they will say, do you have a way that I can work with you? Or do you have a program? And But here's what I want to die. I want this to die a horrible death in 2024. Courses. I want courses by themselves to die. Because in my mind, this is what a course is. And feel free if you want to argue with me or if you want to disagree. All a course is, is selling someone a bunch of information and not showing them how to implement it. And that does them no good. That does them no good. And I am proof positive that it doesn't do them any good because over a five-year period, Broden, stop it. Lay down. Sorry, the dog's digging around something. What's up, asset? Um, I'm proof positive that you can spend thousands of dollars on courses and they won't work. But if you have a community and you actually have a program, like when somebody says to me, do you have a course? I say, no, I have a program. It's vastly different. Because here's what people don't like about the courses. And we'll just start there, I guess. Because I don't like courses. I hate them, actually. They give online learning a bad name. Because here's what a course has. It's too expensive. Well, we'll just say two, all right? It's uh, too expensive. Right? How many people have bought something that is ridiculously expensive? As a matter of fact, it, it, was a, it was a financial burden to you to buy that thing and you never got your money out of it. Has, has it just been me or has other people, have other people done that? Have other people done that or is it just me? Because I've done that a bunch. All right, I have done that a bunch. All right, I am going to uh, delete, not delete, but I'm going to get rid of this for a moment. 
So I can zoom and then I will bring this back. There we go. That's what we want. What's up, West Virginia? How are you? And then we'll bring this back so you can see it. Because this is my free community inside of school. And I promise you a lot of the info that you're going to find in there is going to be a lot better than the stuff that you would pay thousands of dollars for. But they're too expensive, man. They're asking you to pay, you know, they're asking you to decide whether or not you can afford your mortgage or you can afford your rent or you want to pay for this course. And it's insane. There's no reason for that stuff to be so expensive. There's no reason for it. So number one is it's way too expensive. Courses. They're all too expensive. They're complicated. How many people have seen some course or they bought something and the things like, you know, it's like 27 or it's, uh, or it's hundreds of modules. I talked to somebody in my community the other day and she said she bought something that was 2,100 short videos. 2,100 short videos. It was like over a hundred hours of learning. That's too complicated. That's too much for the human brain to comprehend. What you need is you need simple. You need somewhere between six to 10 steps. Mine's got six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You need like six steps to accomplish something because people would rather get their tooth pulled in one hour or excuse me, in 15 minutes than one hour. I dropped my cap, right? People would rather do something quickly. So if you can provide a quicker solution to people, then it's going to be more beneficial for them. The idea is not to spend all your time in learning. It's not to spend all your time in education. It's to spend your time in implementation because that's where you learn anyway. You don't learn the vast majority of stuff from watching a bunch of videos. You learn it by implementing what you learn. And you got to make it simple for people. That's why inside of our community, this is what we do. I give you a 10, 15 minute video and then I give you a homework assignment. Because when you do that homework assignment, and you actually implement what I'm teaching you, you learn, you get results. And then we have this thing that is called input, output, feedback, adjustment. And we just keep going over and over with that. We've got some input, we create some output. We get some feedback from that output. And then based on that feedback, we make an adjustment. And we just keep doing this over and over again. That's why when you look at my logo, it's like this recycling thing, because that's all we do. We just do it over and over and over again. Does that make sense? See, and what too many people are doing, God, and now it's too big. And what too many, excuse me, what too many people are doing is they are overcomplicating this process. It doesn't need to be this complicated. It doesn't. There's no reason for it to be as complicated as people make it. So rather than overcomplicating this process, and by the way, if you guys like this, uh, tap that screen for me, will you? I'm making my little banner here. Um, tap that screen for me if you like that, Broden. No. So it doesn't have to be as complicated. It doesn't have to be as expensive. Sit down. Thank you. And um, not too, we'll just say, um, I'll call it too uncaring. That's what I'll do. I'll call it too uncaring because they don't care. 
once they have your high ticket transaction, they're not there for you. They don't care. You know, I had somebody buy my lifetime membership yesterday. And when I actually reached out and said, hey, it's time to schedule your one-on-one Zoom strategy with me. He's like, oh, okay. Well, thank you for your time. People are so conditioned to getting ripped off by these course creators that they don't expect anything more. And the moment you go above and beyond what other people are willing to do, man, you vault yourself to the top of your industry. I don't care what it is. But if you say to someone, and I do this with every single person that comes in my group, I I say to them, hey, I just want to offer you, if you want it, I just want to offer you a 15-minute Zoom so I can find out more about what your goals are, how I can best help you. That's it. And if you will just do that one little extra for people, I promise you, it will make all the difference in the world and you will stand out amongst all these sleazy course sellers. And here's the truth about most of these course sellers. They're not doing or haven't done what they're teaching you how to do. In fact, the only way that they are making any money is by selling you the course on how to make money. Has anybody else ever fi- has fig- figured that one out? I like to tell this story about a guy named um, Sam Brannon. He was a entrepreneur in the truest sense of the word back in the 1840s during the gold rush. And what old ingenious Sam did is he went out, he bought up all the picks and shovels and pans, you know, for digging for gold, for mining for gold. He bought them all up. He set up a general store. And then he went out into the town and he said, there's gold in the river. And so everybody wanting to get rich went out and saw that, yeah, there's some gold in the river. And they found just enough to get themselves excited. So what they did from there is they went into town to buy picks, shovels, and pans. Because that's what you have to do if you're going to dig for gold. But the only one who actually became a millionaire from the gold rush was Sam Brannon because he was selling the picks, pans, and shovels. And so many people are out here selling courses, and it pisses me off. They're selling courses where all they're doing is selling shovels. They're not digging for gold. And while what Sam did was ingenious and and marketing genius, what, what these people are doing, I don't think is ethical. Because they're saying, yeah, I'll teach you how to make money. Great. How are we going to do that? Well, you're going to buy this course on how to make money. I hate that. Fucking hate that. I'm sorry. That irritates the shit out of me. And the fact that thousands of people buy these courses, thousands of people buy these courses, and then they're too expensive, they're too complicated, and nobody gives a shit. Because once they have your high ticket transaction, they don't care. There ain't nobody, when you buy those high ticket courses, there ain't nobody reaching out to you in a community saying, hey, Um, you want to schedule a Zoom with me so I can find out what your goals are? I challenge you. I challenge you to find any of them that are doing that. They're not. Because all they're concerned about, like I said on my video yesterday, all they're concerned about is the transaction for themselves, not the transformation for the buyer. But when you do things that are reasonably priced for people, so it's a low barrier to entry, You make them simple, and because they're low ticket, and you offer people actual value with the community and support, because that's what those things don't have. They don't have support. There's nobody there to answer your questions. There's nobody there to show you anything. They're just like, "Ah, you paid $2,500 for this thing. Figure it out on your own. There's no support because they don't care. There's no incentive for them to care. There's none. Because all they're worried about is the money. They're not worried about actually helping anybody get a transformation. Does anybody agree with that? Or am am I alone? 
And I think the biggest offenders are affiliate marketers. And it does that, does anybody agree with this or is it just me? Am I on an island here or do you guys agree? Who agrees these courses are too expensive? Who agrees they're too complicated? And who agrees that nobody cares? Once they get your money, nobody cares. Just me. I'm the only one who's ever bought a coat, uh, a course like that. Look, guys, if you're not going to participate, there's really no reason. There's no reason to be here. There's none. And I'm not asking you to tell me your life story. Just, just acknowledge that stuff. There you go, Timmy. Thank you. I've bought tons of them, okay? I've bought five, I spent five years buying courses in $15,000. Yeah. Well, you're going to hear a ton of stories, Cap, because that's, that's what people do. They sell courses because they're excited about making money from a course, not because they're excited about actually teaching anyone anything and actually helping them get a transformation. So what I hope dies a horrible death, a horrible painful death in 2024 is courses. Now, the opposite of courses is what we're talking about today. The opposite of courses are communities. Communities. That's what people want. People don't want to look because when you when you consider buying a course, you go to a landing page, right? You watch some video. They pitch you this high ticket course, and then if you don't buy that high ticket course, then they're going to send you a whole bunch of emails trying to convince you to buy the high ticket course. Now they might give you a little peek behind the window of what it is, but you're just going to be getting this series of emails. Now, maybe they'll have a video in them. And look, the reason I know this is the case because this is the way that I used to teach before school existed. But now that school exists, there's no reason to do that anymore. There's no reason to do funnels and emails and video sales letters and lead magnets. And look, quite frankly, all of the stuff, if you look at all my old videos, that's what I used to do. And I always felt yeah, a little bit, a little bit twingy about that or cringe as the kids say. I always felt a little bit that way. Not because I didn't, not because I thought I was doing, um, Miggy, go to, um, go to, uh, my school. Well, you can do two things actually. Here's how you can do it. I'll give you, I'll give you my email address. You can either email me or I would actually prefer that you join my school and DM me. But you can email me if you want to. Hey, Iris, how are you? Welcome to the community, by the way. So, um, yeah, so you can either do it that way or you can... um, or you can get inside my community and you can DM me. Because I do offer a consultation with anybody who joins uh, my community. So Edwin, good morning. But look, all that stuff, I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't work. It still does. And most people are still going to do that. But if you want far superior results, and I have seen like this monumental shift in how I feel about my business, how I operate my business, and how quickly my business creates revenue. You got it, man. Man or woman. Um, And that's because people want something more than being a name on an email list. People want something more than being just a number. And that's all anybody is in an email list, is they're a number. And you're trying to go through the numbers. But... What has more value for people? Being on an email list or being in a community where you can access a whole bunch of stuff for free that will help you solve your problems and answer your questions. 
What has more value? What has more value? What are you more excited about? Being on somebody's email list or being in a community where there's a whole bunch of free training? What are you more excited by? Anyone? And look, I'm here for you guys. So either ask questions, community. The number one thing we were missing during the pandemic was community. We couldn't hang out with anyone. That's why Zoom exploded. Nobody, very few people knew who, what the hell Zoom was before 2020. And then when we could no longer commune with one another face to face, Zoom became one of the most important tools that the world had because it kept us connected with one another. Right? It kept us connected. That's how we did things. Hell, people were doing newscasts via Zoom. So community is so important. Because no matter how technically savvy, what's up, my man? But no matter how technically savvy we become, as human beings, we want high touch. We don't want low tech. We want high touch. All right, we don't want tech. We don't want high tech. We want high touch. I promise you that over the long haul, Having a community, having a free community and just pouring into people until it's literally overflowing from them. If you will do it that way and you will take that long-term approach, I promise you, I promise you, long-term it will be more effective than having an email list and a, uh, you know, and a landing page. I promise you. I'm telling you right now. If someone's telling you the only way to build a business in 2024 is to have a lead magnet, have a landing page, have an email sequence, I'm telling you, maybe not on purpose, but they're lying to you. It's actually a very outdated way. And that's because of this thing, school. School gives you the ability to have a community. And what school does is... You get shared experience. So when I talk about attraction, the thing I was going to talk about today was attraction and conversion. You want to know the best way to attract somebody? Give them a place where they can be with other people who have similar interests to them. That's why message boards and Facebook groups and all of this stuff, that's why they exist. Because people want communities where they can gather around things that interest them. That's why you can have Facebook communities of millions of people and never advertise and they just find each other. But this is far superior to Facebook. Because here's the problem with Facebook. When you get inside of a Facebook group... You're inside your little Facebook group, right? Here it is. You got your little Facebook group. And you've got your posts. And you got your pictures. And you got your posts. But does anybody know what's all over on this side? Does anybody know what's all over here? Everything's on the left. But do you know what's always on the right inside of a Facebook group? In every single one of them, you will find this. Anybody? Anybody know? Am I just talking to myself? Any guesses? What is inside of a Facebook group besides posts? Besides posts, besides words, and besides pictures. What's always inside of a Facebook group? Hello, is this thing on? You guys paying attention? (laughs) 
No, that's all on the left. That's all on the left, Cap. Good guess, but it's all that's all on the left. I'm talking about only on the right-hand side. I'll wait like 30 more seconds and then I'll tell you. Any more guesses? Any more guesses? Yes, Miggy, 100%. Ads. Ads. And so what those ads do is they do two things. Now, if the friends list is, um, the friends list is not there in a, in a Facebook group, but ads. Go look at any Facebook group. The right side is ads. And you know why it's ads? Number one, they want to distract you from being in that Facebook group. They don't want you to spend all your time in that Facebook group. That's number one. Number two is they want their they want your competitors because if you have some sort of product or service to offer inside of a free Facebook group, they know that there are competitors or similar groups and similar products and services that are available. So what they do is they sell ads to those people so they can go inside of your group and steal your potential customers. You probably didn't know that. But when you open a Facebook group, you are giving them permission to allow similar businesses to market to your potential customers, your leads. So it's a free group, but you're giving, you're basically opening the door to similar products and services or just downright competitors. Although I don't really believe in competitors, but ads. So there's distraction, there's competition. Here's the other thing. Here's two more things it doesn't have. Number one, ownership. You don't own that thing. It's free. You've signed over the the rights to that group to Facebook, which means the moment they decide they don't want you to have it anymore, the moment you you say something they don't agree with politically, religiously, socially, the moment they decide you shouldn't have that group anymore, guess what? They close it down and you have no recourse whatsoever because you don't own it. Facebook owns that group. You don't own it. You just rent it. You rent it for free but you don't own it. You could build a group of a million people on Facebook, but you could wake up one day and that entire group is gone. And if you have not found any other way to connect those people and you have no other way to connect with them, then you're screwed. You are starting from scratch. So do you really want to take that chance? Yes, a Facebook group is free, but do you really want to take that chance? Do you really want to build a group of 50,000 people on a free social media platform and then wake up one day and it's gone? Because it happens a lot more than you think it does. And they don't give you any notice it's going to happen. They don't give you any recourse when it does happen. You don't have ownership. Oh, and the other thing is, there's nothing about that group that is searchable on the internet. Facebook groups are private, so there's no way for any of the search engines to find any of the content on a Facebook group. What's up, Saro? Spider, welcome. So this is... All of these reasons are why you need a school community. School community is a truly shared experience. Because here's what happens. When you you develop a school, you get notifications on everything. And they've got an app too, by the way. Just like Facebook does, they've got an app and you can get notifications on your phone but you get notifications when things are posted. You get notifications when things are commented on. 
You get notifications when things are light. You get notifications when events are coming up. You get a digest at the end of the week saying, here's all the posts inside of that community. And yes, you can do that type of stuff with email lists. But on average, an email list might get read. The average email might, if you're really, really good, 20% of your emails might get opened. If you're really, really good, 20% of your emails might get opened. Now, in the beginning, my first couple of emails would get read at like 60%, right? Which is really, really good. So it would be like 60%, then it dropped to 50, then it would drop to 42, then it dropped to 39, then it dropped to uh, 36, then 30, then down to 20, and then maybe even in the teens. But do you know what happens when people get notifications from school? They've done the research, because this is a multi-million dollar company. They've done the research. On average, notifications that are sent out get opened over 60% of the time. 60% of the time. So what that means is you have a more engaged community. People want to know what's going on. See, because in a school group, there's a constant flow of new information and new value. And so every time somebody gets a notification on that, what's up? Miranda, hello. Camilla, hello. Over 60% of those notifications get opened via email. So this is why you don't need a funnel. This is why you don't need an email list. School takes care of that for you. So look, a community is a funnel, but it's not a traditional funnel where people feel like a number. It's a funnel where people are directed to a place that offers them tons of value. It's like somebody walking into a Target and all that happens is somebody comes up to them and says, hey, can I help you find anything? And then they leave you alone. They don't hard sell you. That's one of the reasons Target's so successful. They have the people walking around. Same thing with Walmart. Hell, that, it happened to me the other day at Five Below. The other day at Five Below, I was trying to get a cord for my microphone. And I went in there. And I mean, this place was backed up. And there was a woman behind the counter. And I went up to her while there are people waiting in the checkout line. She stepped away from the checkout line and went to the aisle where I was looking for what I was looking for. And she spent a couple of minutes with me. And so you know what happened? Five below just went way up here on my value meter. Because they just said, hey, here's all the stuff. Let us know if there's anything we can help you with. But that's why 60% of these notifications get opened. And I know numbers are not fun, okay? I understand. Numbers are not great. But it's a shared experience. You get notifications of everything that's happening. Uh, people get to interact with one another. People interact with one another a lot more and a lot more positively inside of a school community than they do in a Facebook group. Hell, most Facebook groups, all they want to do is argue with one another. That doesn't happen in school communities because people are there to learn something specifically. You're not just doing it because, um, you know, it's, it's political or it's religious. You're actually teaching somebody something. So they're there because they want to learn about that thing. And so everybody is not only respectful, and they not only engage with the group, but they also are very encouraging of one another. Because in my group, I'm like, tell me where you won this week so I can shout you out. Or did you start a community? Let me share with the entire community so they can join your community. We support one another inside of a community. They don't necessarily support one another inside of a Facebook group. 
A lot of times they just tolerate one another. But there's interaction. There's notification. And here's the thing that you really want to know. Yes, there's conversion. Because like Mike was saying earlier when he was here, the more free stuff you give people, the more they ask for you to help them and they'll pay you. And all that is, is that is just access. The only difference between the free information I give and the paid stuff is access to me. Which means it's level of support that I give you. That's the only difference between the paid and the free. You're paying for implementation. You're paying for certainty that if you do this step by step with my help, it will work and it will pay off in spades. But all the information is there. If you want to go through the headaches and if you want to waste the time and you want to spend more money, all the information and all the resources are there. You can do it on your own. But the smart people, smart people want to learn from the mistakes of others rather than their own mistakes. And every successful person that I know has a coach. Hell, a lot of them have several coaches. You know, Tiger Woods has a swing coach. Tom Brady had a quarterback coach. Oprah Winfrey has three or four coaches. She's got like a speech coach, a business coach, a mindset coach. Smart people and wealthy people have coaches. They don't try to figure it all out on their own. They leverage the experience of other people who are experts in a certain thing. Yeah, well, for years, I was cheap. I wasn't smart. I was cheap. And then I turned, then I found out that it's not expensive to get mentorship that has like a 10 ROI, 10 times ROI. Hell, there's somebody who got into my program and after two weeks, they made a $6,000 sale. That's 127 times what my, what my course cost or my, uh, my program cost. Ooh, I said the C word. What my program cost. Was it worth it to them? I think so. You know, another person started a pocket coaching program. Last week, she just got three new pocket coaching clients. So when she starts her school, her school is paid for. From here on out, everything that she does inside of her community is all profit. And this is the stuff that we teach you inside. We teach you how to do pocket coaching. We teach you how to do monthly memberships. We teach you how to do lifetime memberships. We teach you how to do one-on-one -on -one mentoring for high, you know, for high amounts of money. We teach you all of that stuff inside of, inside of my program. But it's conversions. And I'll tell you two stories on why this is true. And this is, these are my personal experiences. So yesterday... Someone joined my community. Now, there's a thing inside of school where there's an auto DM feature. I don't know if Facebook has this, but there's this thing inside of school where there's an auto DM feature. And my mentor has been doing this and suggested that I do this. And he said, put a link to lifetime access to your program inside of that auto DM feature. Now, what happens when somebody joins your community you get a notification and you have to authorize them. Like if somebody's trying to get into my community right now, and if you aren't there, I don't know why the hell you wouldn't be because it's completely free. If you're trying to get into my community, I have to personally authorize you. So I get a notification. It says pending membership pending. I click on it. I see you. If you've answered the questions, and you, you get into the community, I click on the button and I authorize you. Somewhere between one to five minutes, I'm, take, I'm taking you behind the curtain here, somewhere between one to five minutes after you are authorized into the community, you get an auto DM. And my auto DM says, hey, blank, welcome to Package Sell. Congratulations, you made a great decision. Um, if there's anything I can do 
ask questions in the group, or don't hesitate to DM me. And I say, oh, by the way, if you want me to help you the fastest, go here. And that's a link to my Stripe. This person got in my group yesterday morning. Within five minutes, they had already purchased lifetime membership to my program, which is a ridiculous value. I probably shouldn't even be offering that for what I'm offering it. Thank you for the confetti. So the conversion, and then I had another person who joined my community on the 23rd. Yesterday, we had a meeting and he's either going to do one-on-one coaching or he's going to do lifetime membership. After four days, do you know how many emails I would normally send to somebody to get them to make that type of decision in the past? I would have to send three or four weeks, if not three or four months of emails to get that type of response. Because normally what happens with email is you will convert 70% of people if you continue to email them long enough and they don't unsubscribe. But this was four days and the same day all because I have a community and it's got lots of cool shit in there. The kind of stuff that most people are asking you to pay for, I'm handing to you. Because I'm more concerned with you getting the results. I'm not concerned about whether or not you pay me a whole bunch of money. In fact, for people who do pay me, who get to spend time with me on Zoom, I, I meet with uh, I meet with our community in the select group. I meet with them two hours a night, two times a week. So I meet with them 16 hours a month. And when you add up all the time that I spend with them just on Zoom, forget what I'm teaching them, but all the time I spend with them live just on Zoom, I'm getting paid l- less than half of minimum wage. And I'm not complaining about it. I just want the value to be through the roof compared to what you pay. Because I know long-term, if I provide at least 10 times the value of what somebody is paying, then they won't think twice about paying it. But yeah, when you join my community, if you go on the monthly plan, and if you go on the yearly plans, or if you go on the, the lifetime plan, I mean, it's ridiculous value. But even if you go on the monthly plan, which is only $47 a month, it's, I mean, we're talking about a couple of pizzas. But if you go on that plan and I spend 16 hours a month with you live on Zoom, you're getting my time for like $3 an hour. And normally when I meet with somebody one-on-one, it's $7.50 an hour. And that's just because I've got some skills that people that other people don't have. And you have some skills that other people don't have and they want. And some people will be willing to pay you monthly. Some people will be, 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 uh, be willing to pay a lifetime membership because they want 20, you know, they want access forever. And then some people will actually pay you one-on-one to personally help them get results. And they can pay you thousands of dollars for that. Because some people value time more than they do money because they realize that, you know, smart and wealthy people realize that money buys time. And their most important thing is time. It's not money. You know, I've said to people in the past, uh, that's 58, you know, normally it's $9,800, but I'm doing it for 5,800 for like, you know, this one-on-one thing. And they're like, okay, they don't blink an eye. But until you start providing value to people for free, they will never ask you to pay. They will never ask for your paid services until you start providing value for free. It's kind of like, it's kind of like when, when an airplane an airplane needs a huge runway to get off the ground. I remember this happened when, um, when I went skydiving, the, the time I went skydiving. 
We went from 18,000 feet and we were along the east coast of Florida. So we were along the Atlantic Ocean, but we were right alongside Kennedy Space Center. And I remember as we're coming down, after they pulled the chute and we're coming down, I remember seeing this, I mean, enormous runway. And I found out the runway was for the space shuttle. Anybody remember the space shuttle? I know that's, that's, that's a reference most people aren't going to remember, but anybody remember the space shuttle or am I just the only really old one in here? Tap the screen or say me if you remember the space shuttle. Nobody? All right. I'm the only old one in here. Anyway, so you got the space shuttle, right? Josh, do you remember the space shuttle? What's up, light? There you go. All right. I knew somebody did, damn it. So I remember this enormous, biggest runway I'd ever, because look, I was seeing this runway from 10,000 feet up in the air and it was still huge. And I remember seeing this runway and I remember thinking to myself, oh, I understand why the runway is so long because the space shuttle is so heavy and it takes so much effort to get it off the ground that most of the effort is getting it off the ground. And that's how a community is like the space shuttle. You're putting a lot of effort in to get it off the ground by providing lots of free value. That free value is like the fuel. The free value is your runway. And what that runway is doing is it's helping people get up to speed. But then once it gets up to speed, the amount of energy it uses once it gets off the ground is virtually nothing. And that's what happens with a community. When you put a bunch of value into a community, there's no, there's no energy that is used to get them from free to paid because they ask you. You're not asking them. They ask you. They come to you. It's called attraction marketing. And that's why a school group is the best form of attraction and conversion that I've ever seen in my entire life. And I've been doing this a while, but it's the best. And it's all in one. It takes care of the lead magnet. It takes care of the email collection. It takes care of the community. It takes care of the high touch. It takes care of the email follow-up. It takes care of everything. The shopping cart pages, everything. It's all in one place. And I don't consider this to be a high-tech thing. It's, in fact, I consider it to be a no-tech thing because I never consider anything to be technology if my 80-year-old mom can do it. And in many ways, on the platform itself, it's just like having a Facebook group, but it's 10 times better. Actually, it's 100 times better. But because here's the thing, too. And I haven't even really gotten to this yet. Here's the thing. Every time you create a post inside the community of your school group, it creates a web page. As long as you make it a free public group, it creates a web page. That web page is searchable on the internet. Which means that if you put, if somebody goes to Google, let's see if I can do this again. If somebody goes to Google, hang on a second. I'll show it to you. If somebody, what's up, Linda? If somebody goes to Google, and this is going to come up because I do it all the time. And I put in package sell. Out of 282,000 results. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, five out of six. Six out of seven. Seven out of eight. Eight out of nine. Nine out of ten. Ten out of eleven. Ten out of thirteen. Uh, 11 out of 14, 
12 out of 16, 13 out of 17, 14 out of 18, uh, 15 out of 20. Uh, 16 out of what? 23, 17 out of 24, 18 out of 25, 19 out of 26, 19 out of 26. And the dog knocked over my light. 19 out of 26. Sorry. It's a 19 out of 26. Your Facebook group ain't doing that. I can guarantee you your website isn't doing that either. Your stand store is not doing that. Your LinkedIn tree. Hey, Gracie, your linked tree is not doing that. But your school group is. So what did I say? Did I say 19 out of 26? 19 out of 26. What's up, Mark? 19 out of 26 entries on page one of a Google search is my community inside of school. And forget about lead or forget about views. Forget about followers. Forget about likes and shares on TikTok or YouTube. What you want to be is searchable. And you want to be searchable for yourself. Uh, Alex, here's how you do it. Hey, user 15, you just go to the link in my bio, all right? You go to the link in my bio and you get yourself a, um, you get yourself a school account. All you need is name, email, and a, um, you need name, email, and a password. It will, and you can watch a video about my community and what's inside of it. Then once you give the name, email, and password, I'll get notification inside of my community that I have a pending member. And it literally takes five seconds. I'll get notification. I will click it and I will add you as a member. And look, I have only had this group and started promoting it for two weeks. I barely started promoting this two weeks ago and I've got 80 members. Sales letters and most landing pages. That's a lot better than that stuff. Awesome, Alex. That's great. What's up, Stivum? How are you? Thank you for following. Appreciate that. But look, if you have done something for... 50 hours, if you have read five books on it or you've watched a ton of videos about it, thank you for following and joining Lux. If you've done that about anything, crafts, cooking, nursing, dog grooming, whatever, doesn't matter what it is, there is a community of people that want to be in a place where they can talk about that thing. And school is becoming that place because of all the things I just showed you. And the fact that some very, very successful people have invested money into this to make this blow away, Stan, Teachable, Kajabi, System, ClickFunnels. They're putting money into this thing because they want to be the number one learning platform on the internet. And they're going to be. There's already 41,000 or 44,000 school communities on school right now. And I know of at least two people that have used a free community and they're making $200,000 a month with school. No ads, no landing pages, no email follow-ups, no lead magnets, no domains, no websites, just school. $200,000 a month. And there are thousands more that are making $100,000 a year with this. And then there's some people that are just making enough that they don't have to go work for somebody else. 
But how cool would it be if you had a community that just continued to grow where you could teach people something, you could answer their questions, you could solve their problems, and you could make enough to pay your bills. You could live wherever you want to live because this is all internet-based, right? You could live where you want to live. You can make whatever you want to make. And you could spend whatever time you wanted to spend. And it would never feel like work because it's always about something that you're interested in anyway. I mean, if you are a craft person and you have to go to work, like this is my wife. My wife loves crafts. But for 40 hours a week, she has to go to work for the government, for our, lo- for our state government. She hates it. It's a bunch of children in there. And I know personally, because I used to do it. But I got to like year eight and I was like, F this, I'm out. Life's too short to do this for another 15 years. And I left, but she's still been there. But this is the year she's going to be able to go. And then if she wants to teach crafts or whatever the hell she wants to teach, I know enough about that that I can help her do that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get in our RV and we're just going to travel. No jobs, no resumes, no begging anybody for raises, nothing. We're just going to travel. I'll meet with my community a couple of times a week live. I'll do videos. I'll answer questions inside the community. And life's going to be kick-ass. Life already is kick-ass because this is all I do. I don't do anything else. The last time that I got laid off, August 30th, or no, August 31st, 2022. I have never accepted a job with anybody else since that day. Because I said, I'm done. I'm done being undervalued. I'm done begging someone to see my worth. I'm done begging somebody to pay me what I'm worth. I'm done having other people determine my priorities in life. I'm done. And I said, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to figure this damn thing out. And I did. So if I can do it, so can you. And I'm here to help you. There's plenty of information in this free group that you could take and you could start making money tomorrow. It's not complicated. You make videos, you teach people. Thank you. Good night. That's it. You make videos and you teach people. That's all it is. All right. So that's how you attract. You attract and convert with a community. It's the easiest way to attract and convert because it just happens because people are like, damn, you're giving me so much value. How can I work with you? It's just like Miggy was on here. He's like, I want to book a one-on-one consultation. I didn't ask Miggy to do that. But Miggy was like, well, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. How can I work with you? And the more you give away, the more you will have people come to you. They're not doing that with your website. They're not doing that with your landing page. They're not doing that with your email follow-up, your lead magnet. And they, they can't even find you on the internet anyway. Because you're blending in with all the other websites. School's different because it's searchable. Do you know I can put, I can put package sell in the school community inside of ChatGPT and it will find me. I did that. I'll show it to you. I'll prove it's true. And look, this happened inside of two weeks. Inside of two weeks, I became, hello, uh, Faith. I became the number one search for package cell school. And that's all you had to do is put it in there. So how cool is it if you could say to somebody, Google me. If you don't believe that I'm real, Google me. Or look on, you know, or ask ChatGPT. 
Let's see if I can find it. Uh, what is the package cell community inside the school platform? Let's see if I can find it. I'll show it to you. All right, I got to ask it a different way. Inside the school platform, school um, community platform, what is the package cell group? Let's see if we can get that. Doggone it. Oh, because I'm on 3.5. That's why. I'm sorry, guys. Hang on a second. All right, hang on. Check this out. What's up, Clara? God dang it, why is it doing this? This is crazy. And this is the difference between ChatGPT 3.5 and 4. Wow. I'm never using 3.5 again. That's crazy. That's why I couldn't find anything the other day. All right, check this out. I asked it, what is the package cell community inside of school? Guys, that's my community. Who founded it? Oh, look at that. Me. How would you like to be chat GPT searchable? Your website ain't chat GPT searchable, I'm telling you. What problems does it solve? Do it solve, nice. Look at this. Look at this. Digitization of expertise, financial time and location flexibility, fear and uncertainty, market saturation and scaling. We solve all those problems inside of my, my uh, community. That's chat GPT-4, guys. That's chat GPT-4 that I can be searched on. That's the power of school, all right? Now, I've been at this for an hour and 15 minutes. So ask your questions because I got to get off of here because I got some things to do. And then I have two back to backs later, back to back one on ones later today. So please ask your questions before I go. And if you're not in the community, I don't know what the hell you're waiting for. It's a free community. EC, you are approved. You are in. I'll be in touch with you shortly. What's up, JJ? Guys, you don't need all this tech. You don't need to get overwhelmed by all this tech. All you need is a free community where you can post just like you would a Facebook group. But it's so much more powerful than a Facebook group. And I just showed you why, because it's searchable. People can find you on the internet without any ads, without paying for any SEO, 
You can be found on the internet with a school community. Because you get notifications, you get interaction, you get conversion. So that is how you attract and convert. In a nutshell, that's how you attract and convert. This is how you make thousands of dollars a month. You take what you know. All right, you take what you know and you help somebody get from point A to point B. They're starting here. They're unhappy. They want to get to here. This is their current situation. They want to get to their desired situation. Usually they can figure out the first couple of steps and then they face this big wall and they can't get over it. That's where you come in. You become the person reaching your hand down and saying, I will help you over this wall. And when you agree to do that for them, this is what happens. They will pay you to get over that wall. What's up, Stuart? That's what they're doing. They're paying you to get over that wall. And how you're going to help them get over that wall is you're going to help them do it faster, more certainly. In other words, they know that if they follow your step-by-step -step process, they'll get it. So you're going to do it with speed, certain T, not certain Lee. Speed, certainty. You're going to do it more conveniently with them because they're not going to have to go search for everything on the internet. And those are basically the three. Now, some people, you can get status out of doing stuff like that. But more times than not, you're going to help somebody do it with speed, certainty, and convenience. So you're going to save them time, you're going to save them money, and you're going to save them headaches. And people will pay for those three things. That's why air travel is way more expensive than cars. And yet we fly every day. That's why horses are a lot cheaper than cars, but we drive every day. We want speed and we want convenience. That's what we want. We want speed, convenience, and certainty. And if you can offer that to somebody in how you teach cooking or how you teach how to make money or how you teach how to groom dogs or how you teach how to get over a divorce or how you teach how to interact with autistic children, or how to teach, you name it, how to teach how to fish, how to teach how to play an instrument, how to teach how to hunt. If you can offer somebody speed, convenience, and certainty, they will pay you because that's what people want. They want it done faster. They want it done less expensively, and they want it done with all, all the stress and the headaches because most people try to figure it out themselves. And when they do that, they can't. They get frustrated and they quit. When if they would have just spent a little bit of money and not been a cheap ass like I was for years, if they would spend just a little bit of money, it would happen faster. It would happen less expensively. And it would be a lot more fun because you'd have somebody walking you through the process and encouraging you as you get wins. When you do things by yourself, Nobody is encouraging you. Nobody's saying good job. Nobody's cheering you on. A community does. And that's why school is so powerful. So guys, I have to go. Any last questions before I leave? None? Only one person got in the group today, huh? Guys, you're missing out, I'm telling you. If you're not in this group, you are missing out. There is so much great information because every day I'm learning more about school and I'm sharing it with my community. So if you're not learning, if you're not in the community, which is free, 100% free, if you're not in the community, you're missing out on a chance to learn how to make school, take school and make that, use it to make a full-time income. You know, it was funny. I saw a video that a friend shared with me and it was, it was, you know, we use the internet for everything. We use the internet to book air travel. We use the internet to order groceries. We use the internet to plan trips. Uh, we use the internet to 
learn how to train our dog. We learn, we use the internet any, any number of ways. We learn, you use the internet to figure out what the weather is going to be. We use the internet to communicate with friends and family. But why are so few people using the internet to make money? Why are so few people using the internet to pay their bills so they have more time, location, and financial flexibility? Why are so few people doing that? Because it's available to anybody. Anybody can do this. I'm nobody special. I'm just the guy who didn't come on somebody's live for six months and not take action. That's the only, per- that's the only difference between you and me. I found somebody who I believed could help me. I paid him to help me. He told me what to do. I did exactly what he asked. What, not he asked, but I said I did exactly what he suggested. And it's been the greatest decision of my life. Because it's set up the rest of my life. And I'm only 56. I'm only at halftime, baby. Because I got news for you. If you're in your 40s or 50s, you're only at halftime. We're going to live to 100. It's going to be very, very common to live to 100. And probably before, whether you want to or not. It's going to be common that you live to 100. So you better figure out a way to create some income so you have it. And this is the way to do it. You sell your advice and your knowledge. And advice and knowledge will always be in demand. It will never go out of style. Hi, Julia. This is scratching the surface of what's possible. All you have to have is a skill. You need some skill. You need some knowledge. You need to be able to show somebody step by step how you can get them from point A to point B. You just need to know how to get somebody from point A to point B, step by step. And when they get to this point in the process, they're going to get stuck and they will pay you to get over the stuck point. And that's all a business is. A business is just solving problems. The more problems you can solve, the more money you can make. And if you've been coming on my lives for months and A, you're not in this group, or B, you haven't taken action, why the hell do you keep coming back? I'm just curious. Why the hell do you keep coming back? Because indecision is a form of self-abuse. I'm going to get a little deep on you now. Indecision is self-abuse. And Henry Ford said, Wealthy and smart people make decisions quickly and they change them slowly. It's a free group. It's not a big decision. I I don't know. I, I can't say it any more clearly than that. It's a free group. I'm not asking for any financial information. I mean, it's a free group. If you're not there... I can't help you. I can't help you if you're not there. But I can't be here anymore because I got two one-on-ones and I got a bunch of stuff to do before that. So any final questions before I leave? Any final questions? Questions about the group? Questions about marketing? Questions about a business idea? Questions about anything? Any questions? You're welcome. Guys, this is not work to me. This is fun. I enjoy doing this. I tell you, if I didn't have other things to do today, I'd be on here long, a longer. What's up, Kevin? I'd be on here a lot longer, but I got things to do today, so I can't. I I want nothing to do with a job, so I can't help you there, Atobe. Can't help you there. This ain't about having a job because here's what I've learned from a job. You You are sacrificing your loyalty to one as opposed to giving your value to thousands. And you'll make 10 times the amount of money and live a 10 times happier life 
when you're offering value to thousands rather than giving your loyalty to one. What's up? Tim, um, are you in the group? Are you in the community? If you're not in my community, go to, um, go to my bio here on TikTok, click on that link, get yourself a school account. All you need is name, uh, email address, and a password. It creates an account for you. Then I will get notification that you've joined my group. And then I will reach out to you and offer you a, uh, a free 15-minute cons- uh, mini consultation on Zoom. And we'll figure out what you're trying to accomplish and how you can do it. See, that's how you build community, guys. I just did it right there. I just did it right there. Be helpful, and that's it. That's all you got to do. You be helpful, and the rest takes care of itself. You don't, you don't hide everything you know beside, behind some paywall. You just be helpful. Give the answers. Be the one person who's not going to ask somebody for money to give them an answer. Be that person. Be that person, and you'll never regret it. You're very welcome, Tim. I'll be happy to have you in the group, and like I said, I'll, I'll reach out to you. Because I do that my while the group is still growing at a manageable rate, I reach out to every single person who joins my group, and I ask them if they want to schedule a 15-minute one-on-one. Now, If that means I start getting 100 people a day into my group, which is unlikely, but if I do, I won't be able to do that for everybody. What's up, Michael? How you doing, brother? So, guys, I got to go. Any more questions before I leave? What's up, N1? But I've been studying this for five years, and I failed a hundred times more than you could ever possibly imagine. And I just don't want you to have to do that. I don't want you to have to spend five years doing this. I don't want you to have to spend $15,000 learning it like I did when the answer was under my nose the whole time. I don't want you to have to do that. And if I can help you and you recommend me to some other people, we both win, right? So, all right, guys, I got to go. If there's no more questions, I got to go. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Take care.